Welcome. This is the energy vibration laser for the sun, moon, and rising sign. This is a zero positive uh, vague. It is the vague from the hermit. The hermit has the energy vibration from the Nevada energy. Okay. Okay. Bedankt for the stone. Oh, you Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the so wonderful, wonderful support that you have been giving me. And I am so grateful. Um, please listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. And please share these videos. Welcome to all newcomers. Please stay tuned because the energies are changing and you need a little help to get through your week. So this week is going to be a water week. It's going to be a week of cleansing. Your cleansing is coming up on Thursday, which is a wonderful time. Thursday is always a good day for the cleansing. The color of the week is going to be blue and your color is also going to be blue. So this is wonderful. It's a wonderful healing week. It's a week where for the people who connect with the galactic and beams, they will be coming out in this week and it's going to be a very positive. It's a week of cosmic energies that is coming in. So it's going to be a positive, positive week. Um, for you guys, you have the energy vibration of the five of swords conflicts, but these conflicts is um um, um out of your um it's not connected with you the conflicts are here but it's not really connecting with you it's people who are having conflicts outside of your own um still and, and abilities what i'm seeing here for you guys is a wonderful positive week you have no regrets um uh, whatever has happened you have absolutely no regrets um there is a situation on Sunday that you are going to walk away from, which is the best thing to do because for you Virgos, you don't like conflicts and this sort of a thing. As I say, on Thursday, your week is going to be, Thursday is going to be your cleansing week, the energy of the magician and the star is going to come in to help you to do the cleansing. So the energy of the magician is always working with the four elements and whatever is on balance with the four elements of who you are, it's going to bring balance and to, your wishes and dreams are going to start coming true so it's on Wednesday your cleansing is going to be that the universal angels are coming up and showing you a way a way how certain things and certain th situations are going to heal in your life okay so um, a water week which is cleansing and it's a healing week and it's a week where all the the spiritual energies of uh, the intergalacticum beams are going to come out whatsoever is happening to some people you have the energy vibration of the prince of cups the prince of cups is here and the prince of cups is coming in with conflicts uh, whatever um the conflicts is it can be your 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 child for whosoever who are older and have the energy vibration of the prince of cups is always someone 18 and 18 to 35 and this person is having conflicts with you for whatever reason this person seems to be having conflicts with you and this conflicts is coming from something of a regret okay so on Monday you have the energy of water and you have a conflicts with someone who is a prince of cups who is a, of a um, Pisces a cancer or a scorpion I'm feeling the scorpion for you guys I don't know why but um, most of you will be having conflicts with a scorpion it can also be people who are between the ages of 18 and 35 who are having conflicts with this uh, um, Prince of Cups okay as we uh, look forward and we go forward we have the four of cups in reverse so that means there is no regret whatsoever was happening you have absolutely no regret about it and you have the energy of six of Pentacles because what something happened and you have no regrets because it's going to bring you money so maybe you lost something but you gain something monetary and this is going to be good okay so whatsoever that was happening um, you know um, whoever this person is that ha you are having conflicts with on Monday on Tuesday you're going to lose something or maybe yeah you're going to lose something but yet still um, it's going to be replaced with money okay um, on Wednesday um, you have another water energy so it's a lot of cleansing going on here with water people so you Virgos are going to have a lot of cleansing with water people that is going on here because you can see another cup energy two of cups is coming up so it's um, a cleansing with relationship for some people and um, 
this can be relationships in all different forms and also business partner it's not really a week of business it's more a week of uh, personal empowerment so um, it's a week of cleansing don't forget so it's a week of cleansing it can be with friends old friends that sort of a thing people that uh, and this uh, situation has to do with people who are involved and they had an ex-partner who is uh, the queen of sword and a queen of sword energy is always the energy of an Aquarius uh, a Gemini or a Libra and if you have a situation with a queen of swords one of you your partners was the queen of sword and she was having an influence in your relationship it's no longer this um, has broken down and she will no longer have an effect on your relationship so um, look at yourself and see who is it um, that was having a relationship and the energy of this queen of sword who was standing in your relationship and creating a lot of karmatic situation she is not affecting you anymore and it's going to be good as we go forward we have the energy vibration of the magician and the energy vibration of the magician is a positive positive energy of this magician because whatsoever is happening with the energy of the magician the magician is bringing in information to you and showing you and look at all four elements the cups the pentacles the ones and the swords he is showing you how that you have all that you need to make whatever work in your life and all that you have been asking for your wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled so you Virgos Thursday is going to be a wonderful powerful day um, from Monday start writing um, wishes that you would like to come out ask the universal angels if this is for your eyes good and it will be delivered to you so um, it's a week of cleansing and it's a week of the international inter intergalactic beams and it's a karmatic week because uh, here we are using also the cosmic cards which is uh, the universal angels coming out in the cosmic card and letting you know that they are here and they are hoping up to help you with the energies of what is going on as we look at this situation on Friday we have the king of cups which is as, as I said you guys are working out a lot of karmatic situation with water people because we have the prince of cups starting the week and at the end of the week you have the king of cups coming back but the situation whatever situation you have with the king of cups it could be with your father or it can be with your boss or that sort of a um, situation it's uh, um, there's a lot of love there is extreme love there is a lot of love this person really cares about you and uh, there is a balance in your relationship now so if you are married or if you're coupled up with uh, the king of cups it's going to be a very favorable time okay so love is going to be good for you guys as we look at um, um, Saturday the devil is in and Reverse. and I love it when the devil is in reverse because whoever and whatever situation that was going on with the Prince of Cups he's going to be um, apologizing and coming back and you know asking for um, you know sorry you know he will be saying sorry because you can see that on Monday he was a little bit upset but uh, on Saturday he's coming back and he's saying sorry and he's saying bring in love a lot of love to you which is uh, so wonderful so this is a loving week for you guys it's a week of cleansing situation with um, the cups people the water people it's it's emotional it can be for the cups people and it can be for other people but it's all about uh, the water people the Pisces the cancers and uh, the scorpions that you'll be working with in this week they are bringing a lot of cleansing and a lot of healing towards certain um, relationship and certain situation the eight of swords is here and the eight of swords is a situation that you're walking away from the eight of swords is that a situation you're walking away from and you're going to better grounds and you're looking uh, how to do better things in your life and this is going to be very positive so whatsoever that was happening um, it can with someone who you know who is of a sword person um, you're walking away from this um, situation and you're moving to better grounds uh, you're looking for better things in your life you're looking to connect with better things in your life and whoever um, the queen of uh, 
uh, the, 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 this queen was who is of an, um, an Aquarius or a Gemini of uh, a Libran uh, um, she has no more in flute because she was she was like in your relationships and you're not even knowing it because she was behind the scene kind of sending your relationship to a part so it could be a friendship it could be a business situation but it's not a business situation this week is all about self-empowerment okay so with the self-empowerment um, a Monday um, Tuesday and Wednesday it's all about uh, healing it's all about connecting with all these water energy because it's a water week so it's about healing situation on Thursday is one of the best days because the hair energy is here with two air energies so the, the, the magician is here on Thursday and he's bringing in and showing you a way out of certain situation and yet still he's opening wonderful doors and he's bringing your wishes and dreams to come true as I look at love for you guys in this week it's a lot of love on Friday and Saturday whatever that was happening the energy of love and if you're coupled up with the um, the king of uh, cups he is going to bring and send you so much love the relationship is going to be a balanced relationship so if you are coupled up with the, the um, the the Pisces uh, the cancers or the scorpion this is going to be a wonderful relationship okay as we look um, again for the people who had a, a conflict in the beginning of the week with the Prince of Cups the Prince of Cups is another <laughs> Pisces cancer or scorpion person he is going to be coming back to you on Sunday and apologizing Saturday and apologizing okay he is going to come back and apologize and this is going to be ill whatever situation that it was but I'm saying that this there's there was a queen and she could be and what I'm getting is that the vibration and energy of someone between the ages of 21 and 35 that was affecting a situation between you and this Prince of Cups so it could be your son and your son have a girlfriend who is of Aries and uh, who is an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, and she was um, involving between you and someone else in your partner, and she was in your relationship, whatever the situation was. Uh, your son kind of come back and said, you know, you were right. I saw what you were saying, and this sort of a thing, and you're going to see a wonderful cleansing coming in. So. Whatever the situation was with, because you had the Four of Cups and then you have the Prince of Cups, and then he came back with a devil being in reverse and apologized to you. There was definitely something going on in there, and you'll be walking away from it. You'll be leaving that behind, and you will be looking for better grounds, and you're going to find that. So it's going to be a wonderful week of healing, love, and healing. It's a the tamer for your week it's going it's love and healing is for you guys love and healing so as we look at the conscious spirit let's see what we have for the conscious spirit and this is wonderful we have the world this card doesn't show up a lot of times people you having the energy of the world from this card deck is a wonderful energy it says the we the wheel of fortune I'm sorry the life wheel of life the wheel of life and it says I am guided by the cycle of life and live in complete harmony with them I am guided by the cycle of life and live in complete harmony with them so you have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is a positive energy because you haven't got any energy vibration of what was showing up here all the energy vibration that you have was um, of uh, major arcana is coming in to give you a positive message because the magician is here and the magician whenever the magician and enter a reading you know that good things is about to happen for you and here he enter and he's bringing you the wheel of life and this wheel of life is that I am that I am great, great by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them and this is one of the most positive positive energies you can ever have and if people don't like my glasses but I really need to read because um, the next deck is uh, the Oracle Eid Oracle energy and you have 
at your service and I love this one when at your service comes in because this is a promising promising week for you guys because the wheel of life and at your service is here let's see three and five fifty three you know the at your service is a card when your guides and angels and the spirit world is saying just ask what you would like to have because I'm here to open up and give it to you so this is a positive positive reading for you guys so um, because it's a spiritual cause 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 um, um, it is a week of cosmic energies so the cosmic energies and universal beams are here working along it's as if the veil is thin in this week because it's a week of healing they are at your service and the wheel of life is like the wheel of fortune that is bringing you a wonderful thing and they are saying I'm at your service just ask me what I would what you'd like and you will receive it so this is going to be a wonderful week I want to say to each and everyone out there thank you for being here and please like share these videos the July videos are about to come up please listen to your third quarter readings and I'm saying goodbye for now and a namaste